this video I'm going to show you how to construct a drawing using two-point perspective. Uh, this gives you a much more realistic view than one-point perspective and it allows you to choose which faces of the product you can view depending on where you position it on the page. Now we're going to start off in a very similar way to the one-point perspective drawing by putting in our horizon. I'm going to be using a sharp HB pencil today and I'm going to be using a ruler. So I'm going to put my horizon in, I'm going to measure down from the top. I'm going to measure 70 millimeters today. I'm using A4 paper because this is what you've probably got at home. If you're in school of course you could use A3 and perhaps even use a drawing board to help you. So I've drawn that horizon in fairly lightly, hopefully you can see it, and I'm going to label it horizon, just so that you remember what that is. Now, with two-point perspective, as you might imagine, we need two vanishing points rather than just one. And these need to be as far apart as possible on the horizon. The reason is that if you have them too close together, your drawing ends up being quite distorted, um, and we want it to look as realistic as possible. So I'm going to put one vanishing point at the right hand end and one at the left. I'll label those VP just so we know what they are. Now, my next job is to position on the page uh, my, my box that I'm going to draw. I'm just going to do a box as an example. And if you look at this picture here, this is a box. You can see that uh, we've got lines, vertical lines and then lines which go off uh, to our vanishing points. I'm going to start with the vertical lines. I'm going to do this front edge here. And I'm going to position that off centre on the page. I'm going to make sure it's vertical. And I'm going to draw a line right the way down the page. This is just a light construction line. It doesn't need to be heavy. So that's our front edge. And I'm going to decide where on that um, line, the top corner, of my box is going to be, that's this corner here, and I'm going to say that's about there, just for the purposes of what we're doing, and I'm going to join that point to each of the vanishing points. Again I'm drawing lightly just to construct the drawing, we can go over it later and make it a bit heavier, a bit firmer, there we go. So that's the first stage complete. We've, we've defined where our box is going to be. We now need to think about what size the box is going to be, and that is down to where we position the other two verticals. And that's these two edges here, this one and this one. So I'm going to put one about there and one about there. So I'll just get my ruler, keeping these nice and vertical, drawing top to bottom. There we go. So I've now got um, the sort of size of my box defined. The depth, the height of the front of the box, something like that would probably be about right for what we're doing. And I'll join that point up to my vanishing points. And you can start to see two faces of the box have appeared in our drawing already. We now need to put in the two back edges, and this is the tricky bit. Uh, lines can only go to one of the vanishing points. We've got our verticals, they're already on. All the other lines need to go to our vanishing point. So we need to decide which one. Now this corner at the right here, that needs to go across to this left-hand vanishing point. So I'll put that in. Like that, and then the opposite happens the left hand point goes to the right hand vanishing point. Hopefully you can now see that we've got our box, three dimensional box outlined uh, in front of us. I'm just going to go over that now and make the lines a bit heavier so the drawing looks a bit sharper.
There we go, we can clearly see the outline of the box now in front of us. I'm going to just put in the inside back edge so that it looks like it might be an open box. Like that. Okay. Right, so as we can see, we've got our vertical lines and we've got lines going to vanishing points. Because it's a box, because it's a cuboid, the lines can only be vertical or going to a vanishing point. If you've got a line going off at a strange angle, it's going to make your drawing look wrong. Right, the next job then, I'm going to put a lid up here above the horizon. Now, where you position the drawing on the page relative to the horizon will determine how it looks, how big it looks, and the kind of view that you've got. If I put a lid up here, it will look as if it's floating above us, whereas the box is below the horizon, below our eye line. So I'm going to start by positioning the bottom of the lid, probably about here, the top about here. And I'm going to just put those in now quickly using the same, exactly the same techniques. Um, and then we'll have our lid above the box. Hopefully you can see we've got the outline, the sort of construction of our lid floating above the box. I'm going to go over the lines now and make them a bit heavier. And as I do it, I'm going to actually thicken up the outside lines on the views so that a line which is an edge with nothing behind it will be thicker, whereas a line that's a fold or a corner will be a bit thinner and it will give it more of a three-dimensional effect. see that that now looks like a nice three-dimensional box with a lid floating above it. We can see that if something's above the horizon we can see underneath it. If something's below the horizon we can see the top of it. So where you position your drawing on the page will determine the view that you get. You can imagine that moving around as the viewpoint moves. One final check then. Are all our lines going the right way? Well it looks right to me. Um, we've got our verticals, are all vertical, and the other lines, because it's a box, they're all going to one of the vanishing points. We can flip that over just to have a check, because if there's something wrong with your drawing, then flipping upside down can really highlight it, but that looks fine this way up as well, so I think we're fine on that. There you have it, that is a box drawn using two-point perspective. Now, of course, you don't always want to be designing boxes, but you can use this principle to set out your drawing and then make more complex shapes within the boxes that you draw. And that gives you um, a good chance to make your design sketches look nice and realistic, nice three-dimensional, uh, particularly if you use a thick and thin line technique uh, like I have here. <laughs>